Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Friday the 9th of November, the local media headlines today. People who invested in Cornwall's geothermal energy hot rocks project have been told they're likely to get only a fraction of the profits they'd been originally promised. Instead of getting a return on their investment of 12%, they've now been told they'll get their money back, but with only 2% interest. The company says it's because delays in getting the drilling underway have changed the profile of the risk, so the invested cash with the smaller dividend will be returned to investors next week. Cornwall Reports also covered the change in how children's services will be managed after Cornwall Council's Cabinet agreed to merge it with part of the health service. And Cornwall Reports had the latest on the rumpus at Tywa Dreth, where the controversial way a Surrey company rescued a village shop has pitted one part of the community against another. The St Ives Times and Echo is out today and leads with news of the town's success in the recent Cornwall Tourism Awards. The area got five golds, two silvers and a bronze. Hardly worth the other towns taking part, really. Pirate FM says today it's going to be very wet and windy, with big waves and the risk of flooding. The Cornish Times reports plans to build ten houses at Callington. The Buden Stratton Post tells us about Bendy Wendy, a lamb with a physical deformity which allegedly scares away dogs. The Cornish and Devon Post reports concern about the future of Launceston in Bloom. And finally, Cornwall Live advised that not one, not two, but three asteroids are heading towards the Earth. If they collide, then I'm sure Cornwall Live will be among the first to tell us. And those are the local media headlines today. Thanks very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'm taking a short break, but we'll be back again after next week. See you then. Bye bye.